What's up guys, Dennis Films here with another video. And today we're talking about five things you need to shoot a music video. So let's cue that intro real fast. Okay, the first thing you need to shoot a music video is a camera. Yeah, I get it's an obvious, you know, duh, I need a camera. But the thing is that I think a lot of people get caught up too much in camera specs when really the most important part is learning the foundation of a camera, meaning uh, the exposure triangle, composition, lighting, and there's just so much more to learn. But those are the basics that I recommend you start off learning. And when I mean the camera doesn't matter that much is because, you, okay, say if you're starting out, you could take a $8,000 camera, a Canon 1DX Mark II, and you will not get the same results you see people on YouTube have. It's just because you don't have that foundation of knowledge to work a camera. So what I recommend doing and what I did, I started off with the Sony a6300. At the time, I paid $1,000 for this and I believe it's like about 800 now. So it's, it's fairly reasonable for what it comes with. It comes with 4K, shoots up to 120 frames per second in 1080. And that's really, I mean, all you really need for a while when you're starting out. So. Like this camera you could use for a year or more, you know, while you're learning. Um, it's a great camera. But there's also other cameras that I've never used, but other people recommend that they started on. And it's like the Canon Rebel series, like the T2i, the T6i. Uh, there's so many cameras on the market. Just don't get lost in the cameras. That's not the most important thing. So I'm going to leave links in the description of a list of cameras that I recommend and also cameras that other people recommend as a starter camera and that I know will do justice. You don't need 4K, uh, all you need is 1080. You don't even need 1080, you can shoot 720. But you need that, it needs to shoot 24 frames per second. It um, needs to shoot at least 60 frames per second if you wanna do B-roll. And also, I do recommend definitely having interchangeable lenses so you can take the lens off and put a different focal length on. Those are the main things I'd say that you need in a camera, uh, which is a majority of cameras that have, so you don't have to spend $800. You can spend five or less. Number two is lenses. Lenses are so important, and the reason I say this is because it kind of dictates how sharp your image is gonna be. So a kit lens, I do not really recommend. I recommend getting like a 50. A 50 millimeter, as people call it, nifty 50s, because they are so versatile you use them in so many situations. They're kind of close up and wide at the same time. It's my go-to if I'm not going for my 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma lens. Uh, but yes, get a good lens and 50 is just a good focal length. Make sure it's 1.8. So if you give a Canon, I hear Canon's got a cheap 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. So I'd recommend getting that or you got Sony. Sony also has a 50 millimeter 1.8 that's fairly cheap if you wanted to get a6300. I don't know much about Panasonic, so I'm not gonna mention anything about them because I know absolutely nothing when it comes to Panasonic cameras. But anyways, there's plenty of things in the market. Just get a 50 millimeter that has a fast aperture of 1.8. You may not know what I'm talking about right now, but you will, and you'll thank me that you got a 1.8 so you can shoot at night. So the third thing. The third thing is lighting. Lighting is number one importante in photography and videography. Super important, you need to learn it, you need to learn foundations and stuff. But what I recommend doing as your first lighting kit is to go on Amazon, search lighting kits that are continuous light. You do not want a strobe light because strobes are really for photography, uh, but continuous lighting is for video. Just get a cheap little three light kit, maybe it costs you a hundred bucks, comes with light stands, the bags, Everything you need to get it up and going right off the bat so you don't have to buy any third-party accessories. Practice lighting as much as you can while you're filming. You'll be surprised how much lighting makes a difference in creating an image. So lighting is number three. Gotta have it. Add that to your kit. Number four is stabilizers. And what I mean by stabilizers is not just gimbals. Gimbals are another form of a stabilizer but a tripod, a monopod, or a shoulder rig, those are forms of stabilizers. They keep the camera steady. Now, I would say for first bit, go handheld. You know, learn handheld, because that there is a skill in going handheld with a camera. No doubt about it, and it's not something easy to learn. 
So if you got to, go handheld. But if it's in your budget, I'd recommend getting like a glide cam, uh, maybe a pistol grip gimbal that's cheaper, or a Ronin. If you can afford a Ronin, go for a Ronin. But get you a tripod, first of all. Uh, that's the basics. Just get one. Um, try not to cheap out on the tripod because if you're like me, I did that and I've gone through like four tripods. Not because they broke or anything, but I just need something heavy duty. And I'm using a Manfrotto right now. Manfrotto 502 head and the 055 uh, stand. Works great. Can handle probably a red on it uh, or a heavier camera. But yeah, don't cheap out on the tripod. Get a good tripod. And then get a cheap uh, shoulder rig from newer on Amazon just to add to your kit so you'd have you know, a gimbal, you have a tripod, and a show rig. But of course, you're not gonna get all this equipment at once, you're just gonna build. As you keep shooting, you're gonna find out what you need, and then you're just gonna add to your you know, equipment list. Okay, that's it guys. That's the last bit for this review. Follow me on Instagram at Dennis underscore films underscore. And then also don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share this video if you enjoyed it. I will see y'all in the next one. I'm uploading frequently. Y'all have a great day.